It's on Friday Football Fever. Brought to you by Arizona Health Exercise Equipment. How's your energy, Southern Arizona? I am feeling a little sick tonight, my oh. friends. And no, it's not allergies. Feels like I have a fever. We are talking <laughs> the fever for the flavor of the Friday football fever. Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Collin. And I'm David Kelly. And Paul, there are some big matchups tonight, including a battle of unbeatens in region play as Mountain View and Desert View teams that are both three and zero in their region. Yep, they are playing it up tonight. Both squads have been coming in and coming on strong the last few weeks. The same can be said in Sawarita with Walden Grove. The Red Wolves are gunning for their eighth victory in nine games while Ampi still hoping to keep its postseason hopes alive. Yeah, that's right, Paul. We head to Sawarita for our Miranda Pumpkin Patch and Farm Festival game of the night. Yeah. Senior night at Walden Grove. Now, some of the seniors were suspended for the first half because of violation of school rules, something to do with McDonald's and not going to first period. Unfortunately, the twins were on that list, but mom and dad's still proud. They're good kids. They were just hungry. So the Red Wolves started freshman quarterback Caleb Lydon tonight. Nothing like being greeted by a bad snap. Kobe Gaines, though, saves it from being a safety. And doggone it, you got to keep that dog warm tonight. Ampha had a chance to turn that miscue into points, but the strongest crosswind of the year makes it wide, wide left. It felt like football weather. I'm telling you, Alex Culbertson here from Leiden and Culbertson on spin cycle. He is so into himself, maybe a little too into himself, that the headlinesman brings him back to earth with threats of a 15-yard penalty. Lock it up, son. So Corey Noble says maybe we should run the football, and they do. Jeremy Light Jr. first down, Walden Grove. And then Jeremy Light Jr. Touchdown, Walden Grove. The Red Wolves with the early lead. Amphi's defense doing all they can to stay in this one here. On Hell Taylor. No! It was right there for the taking. On the other side, Grant, a net number 50, and the Red Wolves not losing their grip on the Gila region title. It's all but theirs now. Walden Grove keeps rolling. 6-21. All right, on to Tucson. How we go with the Badgers will take on a Phoenix area foe in Chandler. The cheerleaders, they were loving it as the players are getting pumped up as well on the first possession off of the punt. And check it out. It is going to be a fumble. Tucson High's Levi Miranda will recover the ball. The Badgers are in business. And then Aiden Ortiz is going to get the ball to Gary Love, who is keeping it real like a happy meal. Keep feeding him the ball, folks. But after that, Chandler gets the ball back. And after a quick pass by Chandler, Tucson High's Andres Delgado with a nice tackle to save a big game. But no matter for the boys from Phoenix, because running back Davion Hunter will take it to the house. This, folks, is a touchdown. Chandler takes the first lead of the game. And this dude's like, whoa, dog it. <laughs> hey, at least the princess was crowned tonight for Tucson High. That's all they can celebrate in Badgerland this evening. Tucson High falls big, 49-0. to zero. All right, senior night over at Sarita High. And how about quarterback Orlando Williams? That's him, but he's not getting the ball. They step it to Bryce Williams, and he's going in for the touchdown. Trickeration. Mustang's on the board, and let's do six push-ups on that right there. Sabino, though, still led at this point, 14 to 6. A.J. Skaggs and company ranked eighth in Conference 3A. Told you he likes to do that shoulder fake thing, doing it here and unleashing the deep ball to Sam Valenzuela. And that is 39 yards to the doorstep, first and goal. And then Skaggs to his favorite target, Diego Armijo, for the touchdown. This was a chippy game, to say the least. Apparently, these two teams don't like each other a whole lot. Williams fumbling. Brian Castellanos with the recovery for the Sabercats. And Sabino sidelines letting Saharita have it. These two schools, they didn't play for like 40 years, but now it might be a rivalry. It was a tight one tonight. Sabino wins it 28-22. Hey, from Saharita, we head to the west side where Flowing Wells is hoping to make it two victories in a row. But standing in the Caballero's way, Choya High School. The Caballeros snapped their five-game losing streak last week with a big win over Empire while Choya came into the match. All right, we rolled that video a little bit early, but we can tell you this, that is not where you pick up a taxi cab. It is the cab corral. It's the fans. All right, and 
The Caballero fans will see Esteban Reina getting it to Russell Adams, the third, and cannot be taken down. Troya takes a 19-14 lead, and then the Chargers will go for two, and Russell Adams, the third, is going to be in there, like swimwear. Troya is in control, and after that, Flowing Wells running back Giovanni Walls will pick up a first down. How's that sound? Caballero stall, but no worries, because Floyd Wells has a good field goal kicker. Check out Carlos Quintero drilling it. This will cut the lead to 21-17, and after that, the Caballeros, they are d it up. Esteban Reina is forced to avoid the rush for Troya, and then Floyd Wells' very own Luis Martinez will say, Gracias, si, si, arigato, mahalo, thank you very much. He'll take it back for a touchdown, but it'll be called back on a penalty, and we are still waiting for that final score. All right, from the west side, we head north to Marana. That is where Mountain View was hosting Desert View. And speaking of view, let's send things over to David Kelly, who has a first-hand view of the Battle of the View. Yeah, speaking of view, Paul, the winner of tonight's game going to put the competition in the rear view mirror because the winner between Desert View and Mountain View will be in the driver's seat to win the Class 5A Sonoran Region Championship. Both teams came in at 3-0 and zero in league play. Desert View bringing that Jaguar mascot over to the north side. Mountain View cheerleaders always trying to rev up the black hole. Aaron Logsdon early. Gonna take it in from five yards out. That's a touchdown, putting Mountain View on top early. Later, Ryan Corral's pass deflected at the line of scrimmage by Brandon DeVoy, and he picks it off. Great play by Brandon. A couple plays later, though, Varney Larson on his way to the end zone, but the fumble at the doorstep, and the Jaguars recover it. Escape in danger there. Two possessions later, Ryan Corral back to pass, but on the other end is not one of his friends, Joseph Richards from Mountain View. And the view from the north side gets the win tonight. Hey, thanks a lot, David. It's crazy to think that Mountain View started the season with four straight losses, 0-4 now. Mountain View is in position to punch his tickets to the playoffs. Hey, folks, we're far from over with that. After the break, Southwinds Bajon Robinson was within striking distance of reaching the 2,000 rushing yards milestone for the season. Plus, David Kelly will bring you. It's on Friday Football Fever. Brought to you by Arizona Health Exercise Equipment. Welcome back to the Friday Football Fever. How's your energy, my high school football fans? I'm Paul C. Kala, David Kelly, standing by. But first, quick reminder, you can see all the scores for all the big games on our ticker right below, and we'll have full rundowns on KVOA.com. But for now, let's get back into it, shall we? Southland High School would travel to the base of the Santa Catalina Mountains and take on Catalina Foothills. And from the beginning, the Lancers show why they have a great shot of winning a state title. That was Trayson Borgay, the transfer from Miranda, hitting Connor Whithoffen. That's a first down. Then Borgay gets the ball to Bijan Robinson, and Robinson is breaking tackles, and then dragging defenders and doing it up. That'll lead to a South Point touchdown. After that, Catalina Foothills would have his pass intercepted by Charlie Ratesman. And Ratesman is off to the races. You get it? Ratesman? Races? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, the Falcons get the ball right back, and Will Parker gets it to Kyron Burton, but he'll fumble. Ray Figueroa recovers for South Point. After that, Trayson Bergay will throw the perfect pass to Lathan Ransom. Right on the money, honey. What a debut as the starter for Trayson Bourget. He would have another TD pass to Ransom after that. South Point wins big. The final score, 49-0. to zero. Moving on, I'm sure South Point's Rajon Robinson and half of the Lancer football team could qualify on a weekly basis for having the play of the night. And heck, we just can't deny South Point again. Let's send things over to David Kelly. Hey, Paul, it's no secret the Borgay family have dominated the football scene in Marana for the last four years, and now sophomore Trayson Borgay has transferred to South Point Catholic High School after sitting out half the season because of that transfer rule. Trayson Borgay started his first game tonight against the Falcons, and Trayson did not disappoint. The sophomore played like an experienced veteran in tonight's play of the night as Borgay showing off his arm strength to the wide open length and ransom. I mean, that is pretty incredible what you're gonna see right there. 
This is a guy that could very well help this team go all the way to the finals. Lathan Ransom refusing to go down until he's halfway into the end zone. What a debut for Trayson Borgay. Very, very, very true. Thanks a lot, David. And boy, about the Borgay family, they certainly have a lot to be proud of. Well, South Point has a lot to look forward to with Trayson Borgay, just a sophomore. Meanwhile, it feels like the regular season in high school football is just flying by. We still have about a week left in October, yet next Friday, it'll be the last regular season game of the season. Yeah, week 11. Well, as they say, Paul, time flies while you're having fun, and it certainly helps to see players that can fly like Bijan Robinson and many of the others that we saw here tonight in the old Pueblo. Robinson rushed for 151 yards tonight, just eight carries. We'll have the updated numbers for you. And don't forget full updates on high school football action. All of that is over on our website, kvoa.com slash sports. That's right, my friend. Also, don't forget to go to kvoa.com to see David Kelly and, of course, former Arizona football standout Glenn Howell with their preseason game breakdown as Arizona heads to Stanford. For David Kelly, I'm Paul Cicala. Have a positive, productive weekend filled with lots of joy. Enjoy this montage of more high school highlights.